breaking news alert comes from the National Hurricane Center. The 11 p.m. advisory on Hurricane Matthew is in. It is now a Category 5 hurricane. Take a look, Matthew packing a mean punch along the Venezuelan coastline. Dozens of people had to pull over because of high winds and crashing waves. Parts of the country are also dealing with flooding already caused by the storm. The Category 5 hurricane also affecting the Colombian coastline. The main threat, however, will be to Jamaica, Haiti, and eastern Cuba. Right now, a hurricane watch is also in effect for Jamaica. The weather authorities, John Gunn, has been staying on top of Hurricane Matthew's track. Yes, he's got the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. John, where is Matthew right now? Again, just off the coast of Colombia. Very unusual, very far down south. But again, dealing with some very warm water temperatures, it's hard to look at. Look at this, Tark Joy. Look at the winds here. 195 mile an hour wind gust right near the eye of the hurricane. And of course, that's not good. Look at five, four, four, four. It weakens as it goes over Cuba. This is the latest track. And again, winds are now over 160 miles an hour. And note also that the storm does weaken as it goes over Cuba. But once it gets in the Bahamas, it's expected to re-intensify. So again, this is a five-day forecast. Note the cone now goes into South Florida, which isn't to say it's going there, but it's just an illustration that we do in the state of Florida here in Jacks will have to watch this one closely because now it's teeny tiny. It's very compact. And look what the hurricane hunters found earlier today. First, they had winds at 135, and then they had 147. The latest one just now reporting those winds over 165. Here's a satellite picture showing the pinhole eye, teeny tiny eye of this very, very powerful major hurricane, Matthew. And again, the expected track, as I just showed you here a few moments ago, right out towards the west, then turning and going right towards Jamaica. That's Jamaica, Cuba, Guantanamo Bay, right about there. If it were to hold perfectly this track, and I got to tell you, it probably won't. It'll be a little bit west or a little bit east of it. This is just a general guidelines. And by the way, as it weakens from a category five now down to a four, it's going to get bigger. And I'm going to show you that coming up in big weather. You got to stick around because as you see the forecast models handle this storm, it turns it from a very tiny pinhole storm like we're seeing now to a very large hurricane just out to the east of about Miami or in the Bahamas. Category scale off the chart, not quite. Category five winds again over 157 miles an hour. Pinpointing Matthew, again, I even did not have time to update it, but category five now with winds 160, very potentially devastating hurricane. And if it's not just that being the big story, there's always surprises. So far, Tark and Joy, the surprise has been the rapid intensification of the storm, but it could also be a track adjustment that we could see five, six, seven days out when it gets close to Florida.